Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't checked in with my Instagram, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I did have the baby. Yay, he's here. And his name is Miles. And he is a delight. Right now he's downstairs with grandma. If you didn't know, my mom lives with us. And uh, originally that was our whole plan when we moved and built this home was my parents were gonna have the first floor and Stan and I would have the top two floors and obviously my dad passed away before we moved. But my mom still lives with us downstairs. She has her whole full own living quarters, kitchen, laundry room, uh, bedroom, bathroom, the whole nine yards. So Miles is downstairs with grandma. So I thought I would come upstairs and film my Sephora haul just arrived yesterday and I thought I would try and get this up as quickly as possible to show you the things that I picked up. I repurchased some things, I tried some new things and thought I would give you uh, my first impressions and then the sale I think ends tomorrow. So if you are gonna pick up anything else, I know I've been like, keep going back to the site being like, maybe I'll get one more or two more things. So I thought I would get this up as quickly as possible. I will be doing a birth story on Miles uh, soon on um, my YouTube channel, but I did a quick little announcement on my blog, so be sure to check that out. And then I've been sharing little tidbits of him here and there on my Instagram or Insta stories. So if you wanna see a little bit more about him, feel free to head over there. And okay, so let's get started. Oops, dropped my paper towels here. Okay, uh, like I said, it's not a huge haul. I don't know if I said that, but it's not a huge haul. I repurchased some things and I tried out some new things. So first repurchase was the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist Deodorant. If you haven't heard me talk about this, I fell in love with this deodorant. I had heard so many people rave about this deodorant. I was like, uh, it's deodorant, especially it's expensive deodorant and it's a, like a perfumed deodorant, like the kind you get in a fragrance set. When you're buying a fragrance set from a department store and you get like, do you want the deodorant with it? Uh, no, gross, who wants to wear deodorant from your fragrance? I just want like a body lotion or the actual fragrance itself. But I had heard that this was one of the best deodorants and antiperspirants, not just for giving a good scent, but an antiperspirant. So I purchased it a long time ago and it's amazing. Yep, it is truly one of the best antiperspirants I found. It keeps me very, very dry. You do have to get used to the scent. Does the, is the scent strong? I don't notice it anymore, but if you're not used to using a scented deodorant, perhaps it's something to get used to but I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. It really is one of those like cult classic products. And I feel like it's a rarity for deodorants that come that are, you know, kind of an ancillary product to a fragrance like the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. My mom's been wearing Cashmere Mist for years, but she never thought to try the deodorant because like I said, it's just one of those, I don't know whether we think to try them, but this happened to kind of break through all those deodorants out there that are fragranced and really stand out as a winner. So I repurchased that. I repurchased my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. It's what I have on today. It's what I have been wearing just a ton, ton recently. I think it's one of the best mascaras. For me, it just works because it's very thick, it's very dramatic, and it can be somewhat clumpy, but in a good way. And I like that look. I like that really thick, um, dramatic lash, more of like a full fat lash rather than like thin and wispy and long. I'd much rather be a little bit thicker and meatier on my lashes. And that is just absolutely fantastic. What else? Oh, I bought another beauty blender, duh, because I go through these so quickly. I have been wearing the Dior Nude Air Serum Foundation recently. I don't know. I've just gotten in a rut with it and been liking it. And I've been kind of pairing it with a bunch of um, some liquid luminizers underneath. I've been using, I've been testing out a bunch of different liquid luminizers for under my foundation or mixed in with my foundation. And I have a post coming this week reviewing four of my favorites. And a few of them I've already talked about, two of them I haven't yet talked about, so I'm excited to share that with you. I've really been just loving the little bit of kind of pick me up that they give to my skin. 
I've been, I used to use some of them like as a highlighter on my face, but I've really been loving them more as a base before my foundation. I mean, primer, I don't know whether it's, it's not making my foundation last any longer, but it is giving a little bit more of a freshness to my foundation. So stay tuned for that post. But the Beauty Blender, I typically use with most of my other foundations. I don't use it with very, very, very thin, watery foundations because it literally just sucks it all up. So most of my foundation is a little bit more creamier, a little bit thicker, except for that Dior Nude Air Serum. Okay, let's try this on camera together. The Laura Mercier Matte Radiance, the highlight. I know many of you were like, Marie, look, how can you not have this one? Because you love the bronzer so much. And I'm like, I know. So here we go. It's the Matte Radiance Highlight in Highlight 01. And many of you were like, it's to die for. I don't know if we're going to be able to see it on camera. But we're going to try. I brought my little handy brush here. And it does get everywhere. So I have no highlight on today. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that is, uh, that's stunning. Yep. Now, the thing with this formulation, it's baked. Baked formulations tend to be very, very powdery. They tend to get everywhere. You put your brush in and powder goes everywhere. I just have accepted that that's the way it is. OMG. This is absolutely stunning. The formula is very, very thin, very finely milled, but like I said, powdery, gets everywhere, but you know, manages to really stay on the cheeks. Holy cow. I probably put on a little too much, but I really wanted you guys to get the effect of it. Probably put it a little too forward too, but that's all right. We'll just deal with it. Oh yeah. Oh yes. All right. You guys were right. As I knew you would be because I, I actually already love the regular um, bronze color, but I had a feeling that this would be absolutely amazing. Okay. I, because I've been loving things underneath my foundation, I guess you could, you could call them primers. I'm not wearing them as a primer, but something underneath my foundation. I had heard really great things about the Touche Claw Blur Primer. And I had heard that it really helps to blur the imperfections in your skin. And I heard that it was great if you have oily skin, though I was reading some reviews of people that had drier skin that thought that it really worked well for them too. It gave them just a slight, um, slight luminescence to the skin, but I've heard that it really does a good job of kind of smoothing everything before you put on your foundation. So I am ecstatic to try this and I will keep you guys posted and see if I'm really loving it. My skin, like I said, is not oily at all anymore. So it's, that's just not a concern of mine, but I still was intrigued by the blur aspect of it. And like I said, because I've been using so many different products pre-foundation, I thought it'd be fun to kind of add that and throw that into the mix. I picked up these Sephora um, lip enhancers. What are they called? The Plump Effects. Um, I got the 01 and 02. So... You can wear them alone or add them on top of things. I have no lip color on right now because I wanted to try some of my lip colors that I purchased. And I heard that they were just really beautiful on the lips and they gave like a really nice plumping look and they were very smooth. That was number one that I just put on. Let's just blend it a little bit with number two. Oh, number two is stunning. Yeah, love it. They are definitely they were only they're only a few dollars they're not exceptionally expensive yeah they're really beautiful they definitely have like a minty feeling I can feel a little bit of the plumping effect I mean I don't have exceptionally full lips not that that bothers me but the only thing is you can't put on too much because you know the little like it'll kind of stick together on your lips and it can be a little too as I'm feeling right now I can see how you can add too much. So less is more with these because you'll have those little like, I don't know, 
stringy, gloppy gloss things that like hold your lips together when you like part them in a show. But I, it definitely, there's some tackiness to it. It's a little bit sticky, but I think it'd be a beautiful gloss on top of a lip color and on top of a lipstick or another lip gloss that you maybe want to sheer out. And speaking of lip colors that you want to kind of top off with the gloss, I purchased some lip colors. My final three products from that haul were the some of the Pat McGrath lip colors. Now, I have received numerous messages over the past few months, comments, messages, DMs, whatever, asking me if I plan on trying these and I'll be fully transparent. My response has always been, no, not really interested. They're not exciting me. I don't, uh, I just, I'm not excited about them. Well, I was reading my, um, was reading on Beauty Lookbook's website, she, or Beauty Lookbook's blog, I'll link her blog below. I love her blog, I'm sure many of you follow her. And she was raving about them. And I was like, hmm, so do I make the jump and try them? Or, because, you know, sometimes I just, like I really get excited about so many things that people rave about, but I'm like, well, I like it. Well, I think it's fantastic. But a lot of the things that she talks about, I agree with her on. So I was like, well, I pretty much agree with her on a lot of her things that she loves. So we tend to have similar tastes. So I said, I think I'm gonna like these. Anyway, I got them in the mail yesterday and I already tested them and tried them on. Mm, they are, an amazing, amazing texture. Wow. And the packaging, let's first talk about the packaging, okay? How cute are these? And it like, the string, like there's like a string that kind of closes them. So I got three colors, all were nude shades. The only bummer, which I kind of was disappointed about, one of them doesn't turn up. Like it, no matter how many times I turn it. So I think it's broken. So that definitely has to go back and be exchanged. But I really love the color. And I was like, oh gosh, I really was hoping it wasn't one of the ones that I was like dying to try. So they're all nude shades. This is, oh, let me take off my highlight first. So it doesn't like skew the color here. And this one is the Lux Trance Lipstick in Valletta. Gorgeous, gorgeous, peachy nude. Duh. Like, do you think I was going to switch it up and get mauve? No. <laughs> Go with the peachy nudes. So the formula, though, is insanely creamy. And it feels, it just glides right on the lips. It really feels amazing. Definitely more of a full coverage. It's, it's a beautiful color. It's absolutely stunning. Beautiful color. The packaging is amazing. Uh, I'm a fan, I have to say. So sorry to all of you that I was kind of not excited about them and not wanting to try them. And But now I'm here for them. I'm here for them. I think that they are fantastic. I think they're worth picking one up before the sale ends. It's just, I wore it yesterday and it was quite full coverage and it stayed on for most of the day. My lips stayed very creamy. I don't remember if I had to touch up. I think I maybe touched up once or so, but really, really, really beautiful. So that was Valletta. Then we've got, which is the one that didn't come out? I'm so upset. This one is Sextrology. I don't even know what that is. It's Sextrology. Okay. I guess it's like astrology, sextrology. And this as well was, I didn't get any of the matte trance because I was like, mm, I don't know, I'm not digging a, I've been digging a glossy lip for a while now. So a glossy, creamier lip. So I decided not to go for any of the mattes. This one's a little bit deeper. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna dig this one. Cause I, I've been liking a paler lip and yeah, this one's a little too deep and yeah, a little too deep for me is what, what I'm looking for. Still feels amazing. 
Still think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I think many of you would totally fall for this color. And especially if you have a little bit darker complexion than me, this would probably be a little more nude on you and it would probably be stunning. And add a little bit of that Sephora plumping gloss. Hello. Gorgeous. Now the final one is the one that didn't come out. So I'm gonna try to use lip brush to get it out so at least I can see the color. I was not able to see the color and I was really upset. <laughs> and such a disappointment. You get like so excited and I have to make sure I get exchange it before the sale is over. I mean, they would probably honor it, but I don't know if I feel like going through that hassle. My little concealer on. Okay, the final color was Donatella. I should have known this was like gonna be super new. Donatella. Oh, it did come up. That's weird. It wasn't turning up earlier. Yay, so it's not broken. Oh, that's so great. Okay. This one looks a little bit browner to me. It's a little bit more of a brownie nude. I didn't expect it to be that brown, to be honest. And I tried the, the first one. That was the one that I wore yesterday, the Valletta. And this is a little bit more, almost like kind of a 90s lip, like the kind of like a 90s brownish nude. I don't know. I gotta think about this one. It could, I mean, it's a gorgeous fall nude, which I think is really nice. Let's throw on a little bit of that plumping gloss on top and just add a little bit of dimension to it. The only thing about glosses like this is I always have to wipe the applicator because I hate changing the color of the gloss because like your lipstick gets on the applicator and then gets into your gloss. And next thing you know, you have like a much deeper color gloss than what you purchased. Yep. It's kind of growing on me. I definitely am liking it a little bit more with a gloss on top. And yeah, it looks more like a fall nude than like a spring or summer nude, which may be a little bit more milky, a little bit more peachy, and a little bit paler. But I think this could be a really pretty fall nude. So that is, make sure it doesn't get on my teeth while I'm finishing up the video. So that was my haul. Like I said, nothing too exciting where I've got, you know, you know, some people I saw had haul boxes, like huge boxes, like one or two or three boxes. I'm like, they went to town. I tend to just, I'm not a big hauler anyway. I don't tend to like do major hauls at a time. I like to buy a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, but I want to show you what I purchased and I would love to hear what you purchased. You still have a day and a half left to shop. Highly recommend some, of, especially my repurchases, that It Cosmetics Mascara, the Donna Karen deodorant. I know many of you have said that you've been thinking about trying it. I highly recommend giving it a go because I really think you'd enjoy it. The Laura Mercier highlight, oh, I mean, guys, that is, that's, that could overtake my other, um, that could overtake my Clay de Poe or possibly my Dior Nude Air Luminizer because that is a stunning, stunning highlight. And then these Pat McGrath lipsticks. I, do yourself a favor, pick up just one of them because the creaminess of them, oh my gosh, so beautiful. All right, hope you enjoyed this and I will be back soon, like I said, with uh, Miles' birth story, hopefully in the next week or two. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.